Hello everyone, this is Cookie Prince here of some online Melty Blood type aluminum matches that I played with Bloody Kimono 7-7 -7 on January 28, 2022. <laughs> This or Koo, it has some good combos. Saber might have a tough battle ahead of her. Saber has the health lead now. If she plays her cards right, she might be able to win the first round. Or it has activated her heat to recover some health. Hopefully Saber can put an end to this quickly. Saber ended her last combo with an EX move to defeat Arcuid. Arcuid is a tough opponent, so I say it was justified. Saber seems to be overpowering her coup, and if she keeps this up, she should be able to win this match. Oh man, or two had managed to survive against Saber's super move, and she has the tiniest amount of health left, too. Or Kood is running Saber to her limits. Saber might have to give it everything she has to defeat her. Luckily, Saber had enough juice in her to finish off our cooing. That was a very intense and exciting battle. That was definitely one of the most enjoyable Melty Blood matches I've played in yet. In the next match, I'll be playing as Kohaku while Kimono is using Dead Apostle Noel. なんと不審なお方でしょう。成敗ですね。ねえ、興奮してる。たまんない。オープンユアマジックサーキット。ファイト。早く。いや。なお、ファイト。<笑>
I'm very impressed with this stage here. I might even go as far to call it the most beautiful stage in this game. Kohaku needs to do her best to keep her guard up against dead Apostle Noel's spears. Kohaku currently has the health lead. If she's able to keep her defenses up, she just might be able to win the first round. It was a tough battle, but Kohaku managed to make a comeback and win the first round. Her broom skills definitely helped her out back there. Ouch! Kohaku got spanked by Dad Apostle Noel. Hopefully she'll have better luck in the final round. Both characters are taking turns pounding each other. No matter what happens, this is going to be an exciting final round. I could have extended my combo after calling out that cactus, but unfortunately I screwed up. It was a close battle, but Dead Apostle Noel is the winner. However, if Kohaku was able to unleash her super move, I might have been able to win this match. Despite her defeat, Kohaku put up a beautiful performance in the final round. Hopefully spending some time cleaning the Tono family mansion will help cheer her up. In the third match of this video, I'll be playing as Arcuid, while Kimono will be using Toma. During my first combo, Koma counters with a shield guard. Not bad, not bad at all. Arku it has the health lead, but she needs to keep her guard up, especially since Koma's attacks pack quite a punch.
Despite her defeat, Arku had put up a good fight in the first round. Hopefully she'll have better luck in round two. Koma spamming his flame attack. It's a little cheap, but I guess it works. Our code was in a tight spot, so she had to unleash her super move on Koma to win round two. R2, it's doing good work out there. She's able to keep her defenses up. She might be able to win this final round. Arku it has built up enough meter to use her super move again, so victory is now guaranteed for her. That was an excellent match. Koma knows how to pack a punch. He definitely might be a character I want to try out someday. In the fourth match of this video, Kimono and I will be having a Noel Mirror match. It looks like Kimono has the superior combo. If he keeps this up, I might be in trouble. So far, it looks like my no whale has the upper hand. If I play my cards right, I might be able to win this match. Oh no, Kimono's no whale has activated her heat. I need to stop her before she recovers too much hail. Wow, that was a close fight. For the way things are going, this is going to be a very interesting match. My no whale currently has a huge health lead over Kimono's. If I keep this up, I might have round two in the bag. <laughs> the 
The spy getting hit by a barrage of combos. My no whale has come out on top. Hopefully she has enough strength in her to win the final round. I think it's time for me to use my super move. Hopefully this will be my ace in the hall. Despite some tough competition, my no whale has come out as the victor. That was a very enjoyable match. I definitely had a lot of fun back there. In the final match of this video, Kimono and I will be having another mirror match, this time with Miyako. <laughs> Kimono landed the first strike thanks to a shield guard. Kimono had a good start, but I managed to get the upper hand and win the first round. Hopefully I'll have the same luck in round two. Kimono spamming his stomp attack, so I gotta put an end to that. Wow, that's an impressive combo I landed there. Uh-oh, Kimono has activated his heat. If I don't put an end to this quickly, I might be in some trouble. I was in the lead, but by activating his heat, Kimono was able to recover some hay off and make a comeback. Once again, I have the health lead, but I need to keep my guard up because who knows what kind of tricks that Kimono has up his sleeve.
And Kimono has won the final match of this video. He had some nice combos back there. However, if I was able to unleash my super move, I think I would have won this match. GG's Kimono, those were some excellent matches we had there. If I could, I'd definitely give you a handshake. I hope that everybody enjoyed the video. Stay safe out there and have a great day.